So here's our Princess Auto project of the day. We're going to try and build one of these uh, Nivis antennas uh, just using junk from uh, Princess Auto. So it's basically an inverted V that's really close to the ground. Uh, we're going to make that part. Uh, the fiberglass poles that they have in this kit is the same fiberglass poles I got at Princess. I think they're like say over two bucks each instead of like four or five or whatever but you need 15 feet so that works out to exactly four poles so I got the poles I got the rope here I got that at princess these were half price for two bucks each or something I'm gonna make that out of plexiglass I'll make that out of plexiglass and I, and I got hose clamps kicking around and it's kind of cool because they give you all the dimensions and stuff to build it 40 and 80 meters so I'm gonna make that center tee out of plexiglass left over from my Argo and then uh, clamp it on and go from there so I got all the instructions I also got this current balance that I balance that it's a voltage balance that I won a one-to-one balance with the local ham fist here but I, I don't know if I'll use it yet I'll play it later so there we go I'll keep you posted on how it works So I used my handy dandy jigsaw, but all it did was melt it. It cut right through, but then by the time I got to the end, everything I had cut uh, glued itself back together again from the heat. So I'm going to try to use the heat gun here to break it out. It's Lexan, not plexiglass. And there she is all cleaned up. It looks all right. Drill some holes in it. And that'll be that part there. Now I'm just gonna drill those holes out so it sort of looks like that. So I got it drilled and that's how the wires will go I think. And then they'll fan out to the 245s and then I'll terminate everything right here and then uh, on that one. No, I'm gonna make another hole here and another hole here. But that'll, it's not coming out. And I think I'll use this ballon just because I have it. And it's easy to hook up. So once it's all installed, I'll uh, just get connectors for this and put them on to the two existing wires on both sides. And I should be good to go. So I guess I gotta cut the wires and mount that plate. So the deal is for 80 meters, let's see, I need uh, 38 feet on each side and uh, for 40 meters, 25. So I'll use the black wire for 80 and the white wire for 40. And then I'll just put the uh, corresponding rope on it. So there it is. I just have to uh, add two more pieces to it and now I'm going to uh, make the pieces. Or I just made the pieces for the other end. And they're here, so I'm going to pull those out and then we'll hook the rope up. Alright, now it's uh, rope time. And they actually give you, uh, they show you the knot to use, which is, which was pretty cool. So there's a the knot for my rope. So I got the bow one all set to go. I just crimped some ends on it. I'll startle them up. I don't trust those, but good enough for now. Try wrap it on. And we'll give her a try. Well, there she is. I couldn't find any tire up, so I use electric tape for now. But it's all set to go. It's going to go on that base. And there'll be four poles all together. Well, there she is, installed. It's basically got uh, four tie downs. For the 80 meter wire and 40 meter wires, it's pretty solid. So I gotta get a, I'll take her back down again and tighten things up and get a piece of coax and see if we can't burn some clouds tonight with this thing. So it's supposed to radiate straight up. And the base is, uh, I mean, you could kick it out if you wanted to, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. The top is pretty solid even though the post is moving around so I think I've probably got 20 bucks in it.